Hey, what's up, YouTube? My casual fans, it's casual Yugi stuff here, and I'm back bringing you guys another Yu Gi Oh! video. Today, it's another mail day video. We have two awesome pieces of mail here in front of us, which we will be opening for today's video, guys. I'm excited if you are as well. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and also leave a comment down below. And if you leave a comment down below, I'll be giving away this one card right here. It is a mint condition, Raging Battle Special Edition, Iron Core of Quacky Meru. This is ready to go, it's already been top loaded, so I'll be giving this away to one lucky winner. Just leave a comment down below, like the video, and be a subscriber. Simple as that. So, with the giveaway prize out of the way, let's just put that in our giveaway pile. We'll be cracking open these two pieces of mail, of which I'm excited to say that this big one here will be opening first, and this was sent to us by Clerks Trading, so massive thank you to Clerks Trading. Link will be down below, guys. If you don't know about Clerks, basically they are the UK's best, and I'm saying best, it's a big statement, but I truly and honestly believe that they are the best providers of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, sealed, boosters, tins, packs, boxes, anything Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, guys. And I'm talking not just Rage of Ra, not just the new stuff, I'm talking about the old school stuff. So if you want to get your hands on some old school product, obviously it's not going to be at the same prices as it was those years ago when it was first released. But... Clerks Trading, guys, definitely, definitely check them out. Link below. Massive shout out to you guys. Uh, he's a personal friend of mine, and he sent us a little care package to crack open on the channel. And there will be stuff inside here to open. I think we may also be cracking that in this video. I'm unsure. It depends on what it is. Uh, if it's something I'm familiar with, hopefully. But here we go, guys. We'll start off by opening Clerks Trading. Oh my gosh. So, guys, just straight off the back, here we go. That's the Clerks. Thank you. Uh, card that he puts in with all of his purchases um, that you guys will make so you'll get one of these there's the logo really really cool family run business so definitely support your local guys check them out and oh my gosh look what he has sent us he sent us a GX special edition guys I'm gonna have to open this for its own video because this is awesome look at this GX special edition wow that is incredible, guys. I was not expecting something so cool as a GX Special Edition to be sent by Clerks uh, for today's video, guys. But again, he's a great supplier of ours. He's supplied us with some awesome content in the past and in the present. So that is just such a cool um, piece. And here we go, guys. We have... Oh, my God. Let's have a little look what we have in here, guys. Okay. What? We have a Pharaoh Servant Unlimited Original Konami Square Logo. A boost pack, another one, and two tactical evolutions. Oh my gosh. Guys, what I think I'll do is crack these open in this video, and depending on how these go, we'll crack open the Jack Special Edition, because I know you guys love it when I crack open uh, some old stuff. So I'm going to crack these open now, um, and we'll get underway with a Pharaoh's Servant, a fantastic set. Even in Unlimited, these packs are very expensive, especially with the Konami Square logo. That means it's obviously not a reprint, if you don't know. The reprints was printed in 2014, 2017, the most recent ones. But also, back in the day, you had the Master Collection, you had the general second run of Unlimited with the Konami written uh, logo, just like this one, which was on the Master, say, Master Collection. Uh, there's been several printings. But guys, this is an original Unlimited uh, pack. So, whew, here goes, guys. What can we get out of our first Ferris Servant? We're even wearing the color of Ferris Servant today, guys. Smells like 2003. Let's see what we can get, guys, out of our first Pharaoh's Servant. We start off with a Deep Sea Warrior. Cool card. Very nice. Only Tank 34. These cards, they feel. Let's get the microphone a bit closer in if we can. Let's see if you can hear that. That is awesome old school um, texture on these cards. Doki Arabia, Dark Bat, and what do we have behind our Dark Bat, guys? A Mad Sword Beast. This is the first card to inflict piercing damage, I believe. One of the first cards. A Mad Sword Beast, Enchanted Javelin, Overdrive, Thousand Eyes Idol, that's awesome. And a Wing Weaver. What a nostalgic card that is, guys. Wing Weaver, Thousand Eyes Idol. Not a bad pack, to be honest, but just a rare, unfortunately. Then we'll crack open. Our second pack of Pharaoh's Servant. Wow. Let's see what we can do. Pharaoh's Servant, guys. 
This stuff is awesome. I cannot wait to see what we can get out of our second Furrow 7. Light of Intervention. Earth Shaker. Cool trap card, that one. Awesome. Steel Ogre Grotto, number two. I've always liked this card. The 6 star, 1900, 2200 defense. Powerful, back in the day. Mr. Volcano. Very cool, fiery dude. Can Mr. Volcano bring us the fire, guys? I hope so. It's a Mishizuri, so just a rare, unfortunately. But still, you know, a cool card. Respect play. Girochi and Kugawata and Souls of the Forgotten with our Gus trap card there. So nothing out of those two packs, but we have our two tactical evolutions. And these are the unlimited packs, which hopefully may contain a chance to get the Ghost Rare uh, Misprint. Normal, sorry, the Effect Monster Rainbow Dragon, which is the Chaos Neos card. So let's see if we can get one of those out of this opening is very unlikely but nothing is impossible chrysalis mole massive damage on these goggle golem cocoon veil chrysalis pantail and a grass chopper so just a rare unfortunately phantom cricket nex very nice artwork on this card really good effect as well uh, Venom Burst and a the Gift of Greed. Nice. Your opponent draws two cards. So the opposite of Pot of Greed. And we all know what Pot of Greed does, guys, right? Yeah. Do we? Mm, I don't know. It's, the effect is too complicated. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Tactical Evolution and number two, guys. Can we get a hollow out of these uh, loose packs? I hope so. Okay. Venom Boa. Always thought this card was quite freaky as it has three eyes. Pretty cool. Um, Creature Seizure. Shadow uh, Delver. This card's really good artwork, actually. If you look at it, it's pretty cool. It's like an underground. It's like a shadow of a evil dude. It's pretty cool. Chrysalis Panty. Pinny, sorry. Chrysalis Pinny. And a Mirror Gate! Super rare, guys. Nice. After our Chrysalis Pinny. Not Chrysalis, whatever I said. We got a Mirror Gate Super Rare, guys. That's awesome. That's really cool. So we got a hollow, nice. Uh, Venom Snake, Venom Swamp, Chrysalis Chicky, and Counter Counter with the corrected Counter Trap card symbol. So we'll sleeve up our Mirror Gate. Um, I'm actually really tempted to open the GX Special Edition as well, guys. I think we should. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's crack open the GX Special Edition. Now, I wasn't expecting to be opening one of these awesome bad boys. Look at it, guys. Insane. So I'm very, very excited to be cracking this open. Um, for today's video, let's uh, get our wild heart. Let's save our wild heart indeed. So we'll crack this open because in here, guys, we can get some insane uh, GX Ultimate Rare Unlimited cards. So fingers crossed that we can do so um, out of this one special edition that Mr. Clerks has sent us. So we're always grateful for the collaborations that he's doing, the support he brings. He's really supporting the channel. Um, and make sure, of course, that you do check him out as he is constantly supplying the website with awesome Yu-Gi-Oh cards and products of course this is quite difficult to open but let's see what we can get out of it okay a lot of waste back in the day this reminds me of the forbidden legacy uh, from Duel Monsters era uh, three packs which you got Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler and LOB and your mystery card was a Karibo, Dark Magician or um, blue eyes and now you get an element here a wild card ultra rare card but funny enough this isn't an ultra rare card it's a it's a hybrid because the name has been written in secret rare print but the card itself is ultra so this is one of its one of its one of few of its kind of that kind of misprint error so we'll probably keep that sealed um, and maybe grade it but guys out of those out of that blister we got these three packs the classics of GX so lost millennium cybernetic revolution and also a elemental energy. Can we get an ultimate rare cover card? That is the dream, that is the goal. Let's start off with Lost Millennium, guys, and see what it can bring. Even in Unlimited, guys. Gear Golem Ulti is an expensive card. I'd love to get it. Let's see what we can do. Okay, guys, so we have a Rock Bombardment. Pikeru's Second Sight. Dez Wombat. Moy Interceptor Cannons and a Hirako Sphinx. I never I never pronounce this card right. It's uh, <laughs> Hira Hira Sphinx. Hira Hira guys. 
I've given up. I've pulled this card like five times on the channel since we started, and I never pronounce it correctly, so I do apologize. Miss Polly, Monk Fighter, and King of the Skull Servants. Nice. Um, yeah, I never pronounce this card's name right. Any time that I try, I never, I never pronounce it. I try as I may, I never pronounce it correctly. Let's just make some space for these common cards, get them out of the way um, for one second, and we'll showcase our foils right here in the middle and uh, go for a CRV pack. The last time I opened a Simonetic Revolution pack, I actually pulled a unlimited ultimate rare, Winged Karibo, level 10. Awesome pull that was. That was out of an Elemental Hero Neo's tin. So hopefully we can repeat it, or even better, do better than it. So we have a Spiritual Fire Art uh, Corinne with a massive damage on there. A, what is this? A Rival A Piers. Psychroid. Poison Draw Frog. And a Dark Catapult. I thought we had something there for a second, unfortunately. Conscription, Steam Gyroid, Pot of Generosity, and Dragon's Mirror. Nice common to get, Dragon's Mirror. I think that holds some value. Alright, guys, so... Our final pack of today's opening will be an Elemental Energy, but then we get some awesome mail here as well, so stay tuned for the end of the video, guys. It is a very expensive card that I will be showing off. That's actually a purchase that I've made as well, so definitely stay tuned for that. Last pack, Magic, guys. We have a Bonding H2O. Familiar Possessed Wind, the Wind Charmer. Non-Fusion Area. Then we have a Scar Scout of Dark World. In our last pull of the video, guys, what do we have? A Chathonian Alliance Rare. So, Fee Tiger Jet, Gateway to the Dark World, and Azure Knight of Dark World with a rollout trap card for the end there. So, not the best G uh, GX Special Edition, but we've got a Hollow. Not too bad. And we've got two foils so far. Uh, those are our pulls. But, guys, please stick with us now as we're going to be cracking open arguably the creme de la creme, the overall ending um, here which was a purchase that I made on eBay and it was not cheap that's all I'm saying guys it was not a cheap purchase for this card and here it is guys here it is it's just one card I need to get comfortable for this because I'm so nervous don't know why I'm nervous but this is a massive card for my collection guys I purchased it recently on eBay the seller shipped it next day and it arrived the day after so here goes guys Are you ready for the reveal it is a Red Eyes Black Dragon Baby! First edition L.O.B. European printing. Guys, this card is a beast. It's my favorite card from L.O.B. We've just floated the boat. We've just spent a whole lot of money to get a really nice copy of it. So I'm very keen to explore its conditions here on camera. As it's always good to to record your mail days guys just in case you can show the seller that you've actually you know you opened it on camera and and reviewed it i'm hoping that this card has arrived in immaculate condition as it was pictured to me okay here we go guys oh my god okay it's very very good looking there okay wow it does have a few sort of like dings on it here like some little pin prints i think i don't know what those are you can see it under the light. Really reviewing this card as best as we can, guys. Just because it is very expensive. It definitely has those little pinprints. I don't know if you can see them there. But other than that, guys, it looks pretty good on the surface. Let's have a little look at the back. Those pinprints might be removable as well. So hopefully they are very, very off center on the back. It's something that I've noticed straight away. Uh, but I knew that going into the purchase. Uh, has a little V indent here on the back, I think. Just sort of there, right under the Konami. You see that, guys? A little V dent there, just under the light. But yeah, other than that, there's nothing else I can see. This card is, remember guys, it's over 20 years old. And I think it says VG, actually. I think the condition says VG, so he must have written on top of it. Can you see that? VG? Sorry guys, I'm going to have to get in closer here to the camera so I can show you. Can you see that there? It says VG. VG. That's a shame. Seems to have been written on top of... On the back. VG. Hey ho. Yeah, it definitely says VG, guys. Hey ho! Actually... 
Hold on a second. Hold on a second, guys. That doesn't say VG. That's GN. That's ON. That's the stamp of the Red Eyes Black Dragon. That's the N on the back of the um, of the printing, isn't it? It's got a heavy name stamp, you see. Oh my god, I thought it was a misprint. No, that's what it's been written. That's a heavy stamped surface, guys. That is, that's really cool. I was quite nervous there for a second. But that is awesome, guys. Wow. What a card, guys. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Needs no introduction. An absolute beast. Now, let's leave it in a soft sleeve carefully, as I will be grading this. Hoping to get a nice grade. There we go. Let's get him inside the soft sleeve. There we go. Nice and carefully. And there is our red eyes, Black Dragon, Mr. Joey Wheeler. Thank you guys for watching this video and bearing with me there for the uh, review of the red eyes. I was quite nervous, but it's an awesome, awesome card and I'm so happy to own it. And uh, guys, this was Gajo Yugi stuff with an opening and mail day. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure if you enjoyed it to smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you enjoy my content, I'm uploading daily videos. Remember for the giveaway, we're giving away an Iron Core Quacky Meru. This card right here, just leave a comment down below. You'll be automatically entered into the giveaway at random. This is Casual Yugi stuff, guys. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now. Keep it casual. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.